The other day I was talking to someone in Discord and the idea or discussion had come up about doing a tutorial for the tutorial dungeon, just pretty much like a gameplay walkthrough for the most part, and doing it from a, a brand new fresh character. So Hermione just so happens to have a level one character that is literally untouched, so to speak. So I decide I'm going to go ahead and run through one of the dungeons with this character and see how it goes through. She has a bow. Bow is common log bow, five damage. Right hand, common axe, five damage. Left, common short sword, five damage. So, Forgotten Tombs, launch the mission, alright, and this is the beginning of the instance. Now, Xanther just recently released a video as a walkthrough of how to clear through this dungeon, and it's actually uh, very detailed, very well done. Uh, look it up. I highly recommend it. His playstyle involves more um, up-close combat. For me, when I started, I really stuck with the bow and learned how to basically allow everything com to come to me until I got comfortable enough to be able to just run in and just start getting really close to everything. So my style of gameplay from here is going to be more ranged and more pulling enemies away from the other rooms so I could deal with them in an area that I have more control over. Second thing, for <laughs> pull up your menu with your left controller, go into your sound, go to music, and turn music off. If you don't already understand what we're doing here, we're removing the, <laughs> the music from this scenario. As you are aware, whenever you go into a combat scenario, the music changes and it can easily cause a little more tension. So we're gonna cut off all the music, kind of like watching a horror movie with no sound. We're just gonna have the sound effects turned on. Let's go ahead and walk around this room first. I recommend picking up everything and all of these little decorative items, smash them. They're always going to have some type of loot in them, including scorpions and bats. Or not bats, but uh, scorpions and <laughs> spiders. Loot keys. Anytime you see a coffin like this, look inside. Make a habit of looking inside. All right, so we're getting ready to leave this first room. As soon as we walk in there, one skeleton's gonna spawn. What I want to do is basically stay here by the door and just shoot at them. So, I'm gonna take my bow and now I'm gonna spawn them. Now what I wanna do, this is just my play style, is I shoot them in the kneecaps. So, with the skeletons, hold on, let's take care of the spider. With the skeletons, if you shoot them in the kneecaps, you'll take them out in one shot. So forget about a headshot. If you go for a headshot, you have the possibility of them trying to dodge you. Just shoot them in the kneecaps, you can take them down in one shot. The zombies, on the other hand, if you shoot them in the kneecaps, they become crawlers like this. All right, so he's down. Here comes another one. This barrel I see right there, I think it's red. And if it is, that means it's a bomb. These ones, if you can get them close enough. Oh, that's not a bomb, Never mind. So we're gonna take care of the head. In the head. And that's it. Here comes another one. Oh, you want to know what this sounds like with music on? Do 
Dun, dun. Hold on, we're not in combat yet. This is the hollow map. If you are not familiar what this is, press the grip button, and you've got a map of the whole dungeon. Drop it on the ground. Full size, now the whole party can actually see. This is where you're at, and well, normally it shows all the chests, but I'm assuming you actually have to find the chests first before they actually appear on the map. So let's go ahead and pick this map up. Nothing else in the room. Let's check here. Found a key. Found some more credits. And that's it for this room. Oh, there's a barrel right there. Oh, there's a spider. Alright, so we're leaving the music on just so you can hear the difference here. In the kneecap. In the kneecap. And if you don't like working this close, actually, here, let's turn off the music again. Big difference, huh? So, if you ever feel overwhelmed, just run back into the other room. So many people end up running around inside that room back there, but that's where the other ones keep spawning, and you're just going to put yourself in the middle of everything that's spawning. Just go back into the back room that you just came out of. Everything in here is so slow, they're not going to get you. You can run all the way back to the beginning of the instance if you needed to, it doesn't matter. Come in here. Oh, there's another one. Any more? Oh, there's one right there. Just gotta run away. Shoot in the knees. Shoot in the knees. Or in the shin. That works. Uh oh. I got one on one side, one on the other side. What am I gonna do? Just run away. <laughs> Shoot him in the head. Oh, missed. Shoot him in the knees. Come back. Go back in the other room. Shoot him in the head. Shoot him in the head. Everything moves around here pretty slow, so you can pretty much control the situation most of the time. So, for instance, here's one of those red barrels I was talking about. If the situation arose where there was a bunch of zombies down there, I could just aim down here, and it doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay. So, okay, let's find that key. Wait a second, there's more stuff here. What did I say? Coffins, right? Look inside coffins, nothing in here. Coins over there. Oh, and this is just in case I find uh, a staff. Check the coffins. Nothing. Check in here. Yeah, got some health. Check in here. Got some coins. Um, nah, okay. So now we need to get a key for that back pedestal. So we're coming here. Okay. Looking for the kneecap. Kneecap. Looking for the kneecaps. Looking for the kneecaps. Now understand. This is a <laughs> common weapon. This is what you started with. This, there's nothing fancy or high-tech about it. These skeletons are dying with one shot. Look inside here. Hey, look! There's a key. There's some coins. There's a red bun. around here, make sure you sweep the entire place, more loot, more health, 
Another battery. <laughs> hey, another key. More coins. Any spiders? No, no spiders. More coins. Pick up the key. Go run down here. Get another barrel. Uh, collect that. Run the way through. We already checked all that. All right. Skeleton key goes in. On to the next fight. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Yeah, so we just cleared uh, one, two, three, four. Now we're heading over here. Butterfingers. Okay. Now we play target practice. Can't throw those. <laughs> okay. Ah! <laughs> okay. So we go through here. I think we have all the keys. But we can put one in here. Hey, look at that. We just saved the key. And this is a tier 3 chest. Oh, not tier 3, my mistake. A tier 2 chest. You can tell because it has the spikes, but it's not really huge. If it's got spikes and it's really huge, that's a tier 3. If it has no spikes and it's a little small, that's a tier 1. Okay, I think that's all of them. Open door. Run through here. Oh! I forgot. Here, let me show you something in case you are not familiar with this. Press the left pancake button on your left controller. It's the three line menu button. Come over here to controls. There is an option here that says enable auto run. I had it off. <laughs> if you turn it on, you run all the time. All right. So red means we can't go through. So in situations like this, what you want to do is kite them around. Kiting is basically a term that that means, well, it's kind of like a kite, right? You hold the string and then you get to choose how far the kite is from you. In this case, the target in front of you that's chasing you is the kite. You get to pick. You can be close, you can be far away, right? You're controlling at this point. Zombies can't do anything because they're really slow. And you just basically gotta shoot the guy in the kneecaps. <laughs> you can hit him. Okay, take these ones out. Next shots. Alright, take another headshot. You can actually get them while they're spawning too. Like if you catch them on the ground. You catch a run stump. Uh, kneecaps, kneecaps. In the head. And has Nikas. Alright, now we clear the room, collect any loot. And look in the corners too. It can get really dark in here. Oh, here's another thing if you are not familiar with it. If you come back in here and go into the game controls. Where is it? Here it is. Other. Oh, brightness boost. This will actually increase the brightness of the space. So if you have difficulties trying to see no corners or anything, just turn it up. Matter of fact, let's turn it up for this run. Press that. Let's really go over the top. I've never played with it like this, so maybe we'll see more stuff that we normally don't see. All right, that's clear, that's clear. Now let's check, all right, check this room. All right, any in this room? Okay, there's spawning over there and over here. We'll do the same thing, any caps, any more. 
I hear more? There he goes, that's a zombie. So okay, so now here's time for some combat techniques. Alright, so aiming while you're moving sideways can be challenging. So, if you actually just make a practice of going straight towards your target while you're shooting, you're aiming directly at it, right? You can't shoot left or right, you're aiming straight forward. So, I pull the bow out, I start running towards the zombie, aiming for his head as I'm going straight for his head, and then I let go, arrow automatically goes forward because I'm going forward. So, I don't have to aim around, I just point where I want to go. Look inside the coffins. Look inside the coffins. See, with the light turned down, I would totally miss that. Let's go up here. Oh, here's a nice little technique if you're not familiar with it. So when I grab the rope, right, as I'm going up, I basically just hold down A to, to slide, right? But as I'm sliding, I'm also pushing forward with my left controller up here. And then once I'm able to basically get like a landing pad, it'll throw me from the chain up to where I'm going. Right. So they're going to spawn in here. So if you're claustrophobic, what I recommend is just come out here. So right here, wait for them to come out. Shoot them in the So, I mean, I like to kind of get in close now, so I'll show you how to do that, like, going straight in. Come in, pull it out. So this is a tier two chest. See how it's still got the little pegs on them? So this is the very last part of the zone. Now, I usually like to clear the whole area of anything that's explodable, uh, just in case. None of this is explodable, it will break. The objective here is going to be to obtain the three batteries for this droid. A bunch of mobs are going to spawn, and our objective is to basically just take them down until we recover all of the batteries. So, using everything that have been doing up until this point, keeping everything at range, kiting, in conjunction with shooting them in the knees, you have a big circle here. So just use it. Whatever's coming to you the fastest, take that down first. That's another skeleton. Oh, there's a battery. Alright, so all you have to do is come by here. Oh, that's not close enough. <laughs> there you go. Alright, shoot the knees. Oh, there's a zombie. Move. Oh, run away. Okay, so this guy just jumped in his <laughs> If you stay close enough range, he won't throw fireballs. So basically like that. 
But if you don't want to get that close and you want to get in fireball range, just jump to the side. Just act like you're Mario, right? You see the fireball come? Come on, jump to the side. All right. Now, to take him down, you basically got to get him right inside the helmet. So, like that. So if you need to, like, just kind of get out the way, go forward, aim for the head, jump back. Go forward, aim for the head, and jump back. Keep it, jump. Go forward, aim for the head, and back. Jump. Go forward, aim for the head, and back. That's all you gotta do. Just keep doing that over and over and over. Now, the ones that are ranged, you'll want to handle those differently, of course. And we're all done.